Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for July 29th, 2022. Well, my goodness, as we wind this month down, we have had nothing but incredible exuberance in the market. Will it continue today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Certainly a remarkable um, uh, amount of exuberance in the um, coming in on these earnings reports and just enough of those earnings reports um, showing bullishness that it's just keeping those bulls very, very inspired. So let's take a look at these charts and see what that means for today. Well, first off, um, as you guys know, I keep drawing this downtrend here in the chart, and we have certainly beat that downtrend here in the chart. If we take a look at a little bit longer term, we are now approaching this bigger downtrend in the chart and some price resistance coming into play here uh, very soon. We have rallied so much off of the slow. It's kind of a remarkable situation considering that we just had a a Federal Reserve raise interest rates saying that they are committed to a 2% um, inflationary rate um, and we just found out that we went into recession so is this gonna be the shortest recession in history like only it lasted like an hour yesterday as <laughs> as those bears came in and sold us off a little bit but the bulls just pushed right back with tremendous exuberance yesterday so let's watch these resistance levels in the chart and one of the things i want to caution everyone on is when we get like this we can certainly continue to push but also we have to take a little bit of caution in that because we could easily find that pullback at any moment in time. And unfortunately, it could be relatively strong just because we've extended this move so much. You know, if we just, um, if I jump over here to the Dow and we just measure from the low here uh, to where we are right now, this market has rallied 2,700 and 97 points so we're just about 2800 points in the dow up in such a short period of time in a rising rate environment in a rising taxation environment and in a recession kind of an interesting situation um, for sure but let's take a look and see if we can um, um, move up a little more based on our technicals well looking at our technicals you'll see that we're pushing up here toward that 500 day moving average in the chart we certainly are in a bullish pattern in this round of bottom breakout pattern now I'm not suggesting in any way shape or form that we're going to collapse or come all the way back down or anything like that. But I would expect some kind of a rest or pullback in the very near future, if not today, um, as we get a little bit of profit taking uh, coming into the market. So just watch carefully for that possibility. If we take a look at our SPY, same thing going on here in the SPY, very, very exuberant in the move. And I want you to pay attention to um, this longer term downtrend. We broke the short term downtrend, which is wonderful and very bullish, but you wanna make note that we're pressing here into substantial resistance in the chart and a rest or pullback would not be out of the question after such a strong bullish run to the upside. Now let's take a look at the uh, technicals here in the chart. Once again, you see we're looking to gap up right into that 500 day moving average here this morning. So watch that carefully as we kind of stretch this out. Certainly would not rule out the possibility those bulls continue to push. When we have an exuberant market like this, we can 
we can just keep that party going um, a little bit longer than you would expect. But we'll want to watch that closely because we could also see that profit taking start to come in about any time heading into the weekend. If we take a look at our QQQ, um, extremely bullish here today. Um, we had a mixed set of results last night here in the NASDAQ with um, maybe a little bit of um, um, concern here on Apple, even though we've gapped up here and looking to gap up this morning, maybe a little bit of concern of some potential slowing um, in that. And we know that some of the big, some of the biggest of corporations are going to now be levied um, into some taxation, which they've been able to avoid for a long, long time that will likely start to in, impact um, their bottom lines as well. So kind of watch that closely. Um, this has been an exceptional run in that chart to the upside. So watch for maybe a little pullback. And then um, Amazon um, reporting better than expected. They missed on the top line, um, but improved their revenue. But I will want to point out this major resistance area coming in a chart and that very real possibility that after that gap we could see a rest or pullback or even a filling of that gap um, um, today so watch that um, intel on the other hand went sharply lower and stocks like roku um, went sharply lower here on their earnings report so we'll want to keep an eye on those things tech may have a little bit of fluctuating going on in it and we saw um, tech over in um Asian markets last night get sold off heavily. So I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but I do think we should watch that closely. There's enough of a mix. It may not be um, quite, the, quite the result everyone's hoping for. And we need to be watching these resistance levels in the chart. Notice that we're approaching this price resistance. We're approaching this downtrend here in the chart. So we're getting about to that place where we could expect to see maybe a little consolidation or a little pullback here in the market. And if we take a look at um, our technicals, that would also kind of support that. Now we do have a little bit more stretch that we could do up here toward that 500 day, but um, you do want to make note of the fact that that 200 day is, is moving down toward that 500 and may soon cross down through that here as well. So um, a great improvement, but maybe a little bit of um, maybe we should take a breath here and see if we can actually hold on to this um, strong rally before we chase into more stocks um, in tech. So just watch that close. Now, if we take a look at our Russell IWM, IWM had a substantial improvement yesterday, pushing up pretty strongly. And as you can see, if we look at this chart, um, we're breaking um, that downtrend here in the chart, which is pretty remarkable considering how weak the NASDAQ or um, IWM has been. But we also want to pay attention to the fact that as we push up there, we're pushing up into pretty substantial levels of price resistance in the chart. We'll want to be keeping a close eye on that area in here. This is exactly the place we would look for um, that maybe just a little bit of rest, um, um, not necessarily a pullback, but maybe just a little bit of rest. Certainly a pullback is possible. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's a two day chart. There we go. That's the chart I want. Um, don't know how I got the two days because I thought that's kind of what weird. I thought we were perking up through there. So we're just right there um, at that level trying to pop through that area. Now our technicals here on the chart also got a lot of work to do. Notice our 200 day moving average is now crossing down through the 500. So this area of resistance up here as we continue to approach, we could end up with kind of a, an accumulated resistance area up here with those averages. So you'll want to keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX yesterday finally got a nice little decline. Um, it's It was slow to get started, but right at the end of the day, finally got a pretty substantial move that broke that little support. So the fear is dropping out of this market, and that's a good thing to see assuming that we're not a little bit over exuberant you know um, sometimes complacency gets in the way when we get 
um, over exuberant and that creates um, some overbuying um, in the market and then we get that steep or sharp reversal that can occur so I would watch that closely but I want to continue to give this up to the bulls they they um, have this going on for them right there where we've got that nice little downtrend breaking down through support so or, or uh, through that support level so we're looking good we also want to keep in mind that we have another support level down here that we'll want to be watching as we continue to push that down and then let's take a look at our t2122 and i gotta tell you guys this is the one that gives me the biggest amount of pause I, i'm just like everyone else i love a bullish market but at the same time um there has you you go back as far as you want to go uh, there's never been a time t2122 didn't signal when we reached a top area that we need to start watching carefully for that potential of a pullback now there's been many times here in the past as you can see where we'll hang around up here we'll um, pull back and then surge again to the upside but we're up here in this area where we should be watching for that potential of a little consolidation or pullback and i say consolidation because it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to just drop what it can mean is we get a little easing in some of these prices we rest a little bit and that brings this t2122 down a bit and provides us more opportunity for upside so you'll want to keep an eye on that because we really don't have a whole lot of room up here to continue that press to the upside um, but we certainly have opened a big open space to move down so watch for that possibility of a pop and drop watch for that possibility of any kind of a consolidation or reversal maybe a little bit of profit taking to begin at any time it might not happen today maybe in the next week but just watch that close then if we take a look at our t2107 yesterday t2107 got a nice boost really pushed up um, hard um, on the day now what you do want to notice in here is that we're pushing into some price resistance in t2107 and we're pushing right back up into that area where we have failed before in in that downtrend so we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on this it is nice to see uh, uh, 26 27 percent of the stocks um, up above their 200 day moving average but there there again we're right at that point where we have failed so many times before for and with this extension you want to watch that closely if we take a look at our t2108 boy t2108 surged hard yesterday which is awesome to see um, those bulls really working in here but again that might be showing us just a little bit of over exuberance um, in the move take a look we're trying to break that downtrend we've got a lot of price resistance in the chart so it may just be one of those things where we've moved a little bit too far too fast we want to watch for that potential at any point in time that we can see that rest or pullback almost 67 percent of the stocks getting above their 40-day moving average pretty Im impressive rally here overall considering we've got rising interest rates and a recession so watch that closely and then um, let's take a look at our t2101 our t2101 is starting to improve here a bit because um, um, we're getting a, a little bit more volume here in the move um, watching this you notice we've pushed up into these resistance areas in the chart and um, we have that possibility that we could start to see maybe that little reversal that could come into the market with a little bit of rest or pullback in the market so watch that closely now let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today today when we look at that economic economic calendar i wish i could say we're done for the week but uh, we're not um, we've got personal incomes and outlays here this morning that'll be interesting because we've kind of seen um, some issues there where personal incomes have not been keeping up with inflation um, um, certainly spending is continuing to go up and the spending is going up because we're having to pay more for everything that we buy and those consumers are are feeling the pinch um, here so watch that 
closely. Um, we've got the employment cost index that will be important. We've been seeing that cost index for um, companies continue to kind of tick higher and move up. We'll want to watch that close. Chicago PMI. And then one of my favorite indicators is this consumer sentiment. Um, right now, consensus is suggesting sentiment will stay about the same as it did last time. But that might be, well, we'll see, because our consumer confidence came in um, at a new low. We'll want to watch that carefully here today. So let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar today, we do get a little bit of a break. Um, we've been running these big tech earnings at a breakneck speed here, but today we get a little bit of rest. There's about 90 companies on the calendar for today, but not nearly the number of notables and certainly not those big tech you know stocks that really move the the market a lot um some of the notables i put on the list for today are like bah we're going to have you know some um business um, services in here on the report. Um, ABBV um, will be in here, some of the drug manufacturers. And I gotta say that the healthcare sector has been really, really st strong, and we'll talk about that here in just a second. Uh, Bloomin um, will be reporting today. Keep an eye on Bloomin Brands. They're pushing up into this uh, downtrend, so we'll wanna watch that closely. How about CBOE? CBOE, um, will be reporting today that's been on a quite a rally to the upside so let's watch that closely as we approach some of these highs and approach some of those resistance levels here in the chart we're going to hear from colgate palm olive here today we're going to hear from um, a few oil companies exxon mobil and this is something that's been pretty interesting to watch here guys um, we're seeing um, oil stocks rally pretty substantially and um, this pullback in the market, a lot of folks uh, have been thinking, well, this is, it's great to see the pullback. The administration, what they've been doing is uh, really doing a great job of bringing those gas prices down. But unfortunately, I don't think that's the case. If I do a comparison on here, um, if I put on the US dollar um, and compare the US dollar to, um, current oil prices you can see there's been this direct relationship in here as the US dollar rallies well we've been seeing these prices come down and that's what that's normal because it takes fewer dollars at the higher dollar value to buy the same amount of oil unfortunately one of the things we're starting to see is that dollar weaken just a little bit here and no big surprise as you can see as we start to weaken in that US dollar our oil prices are going back up. As a matter of fact, we're looking at oil prices this morning at $109 a barrel. So even though we're raising rates and we're doing all of these things, um, I, we may be running into that situation here in the market where we're not seeing inflation ebb as much as we would like to see. Um, that real possibility that inflation could remain strong here um, if those oil prices continue to go up. And if we take a look at uh, compare um, DBC, which is the commodity tracking ETF. You know, our food prices continue to, to move up pretty substantially. You can see the same thing here. We got that weakness or that strength in the dollar and we saw commodities pull back. But now as that dollar um, is starting to slip just a little bit from these highs, we're actually seeing some of those food and commodity prices come back. So watch that closely. Could be kind of an interesting situation to pay attention to as we move forward. Now, um, keeping also in mind, we've got PSX. PSX will be reporting today. Um, so you'll wanna watch that. We've got Procter & Gamble reporting uh, today and we're going to hear from Warehouser um, um, today as well. So watch carefully for some of those earnings reports. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor and then click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and that helps the channel to continue 
continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much for all of your kind support in doing that. Now today, because we're extended, I want to talk a little bit about just really quickly about some stocks that could be well, a um, little bit of a concern um, and could be seeing some failure patterns because we are extended in the market. Take a look at a stock like BMY. We failed right here. This happened to be the uh, 50 day moving average and you can see we've rallied back to that 50 day moving average and that possibility that we could see a, a more of a failure here in BMY so keep an eye on that seeing that um, earnings report here in Procter & Gamble showing such bearishness here this morning here let's go over here such bearishness here this morning um, we can see maybe that possibility that some of these um, uh, some of these companies may continue to slide to the downside so watch that carefully now on the bullish side there's plenty of things to look at um, there's lots of stocks that have been doing well and I would suggest that you look at some of these companies that have already gotten past their earnings reports and continue to hold on to those bullish patterns now I never ever want to chase something that's moving up like that I want to wait for that next resting pullback for that opportunity in those trades and there's a lot of these stocks um, looking like I mean they're all over the place um, in the market right now with a lot of extension so be kind of careful now guys I'm running short here today so I need to cut this video short I want to wish you you guys all the very best today and I want to wish you all a fantastic weekend. Stay safe everyone. Have an awesome awesome day and a great weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning.